What we're doing here today is we're training uh, tie-in soldiers in uh, some soldier tasks and uh, in the virtual Battle Space 2 training uh, simulation. This is one of the best example of bilateral engagement between the Italian Army and the U.S. Army here in Vicenza. One of the reasons that uh, we are working with the Italians on this training is uh, it's an excellent opportunity for bilateral uh, training for them and us and this gives them the opportunity to train outside of the realm that they normally could because this is a much better cost-effective uh, training asset for them. Well, th these soldiers are part of Folger Brigade, which is an airborne unit of the Italian Army. And in, in two months' time, these guys will be deployed to western Afghanistan in the region of Herat. And in that region, there are even U.S. troops. So if during peacetime they work together or they have a chance to see how the U.S. work, train, it will be better here rather than find it out later while deployed. And this is one of the first times that the uh, Italian soldiers had the opportunity to train with a simulation such as Virtual Battle Space 2. It gives them the opportunity to train uh, better because it's more cost effective because they normally train in boots on the ground training environment where they're spending money for fuel and bullets and things like that. These guys are testing the system before being deployed to Afghanistan in the western region in two months time. So they have the chance both to test the system and provide feedback, both to use the system and get an additional training for this is an occasion that has never been granted before and so they are the first to see this system, try it and provide feedback so they have a better training, a different view, a different approach to a common problem that is being deployed and provide to young soldiers an experience that they can learn, they can keep in their minds and maybe use it in a difficult situation. Also assisting us with the training we have a uh, three Italian individuals, uh, soldiers, one lieutenant, uh, sergeant major, and a corporal uh, that has been assisting us. And starting out, uh, we showed them the uh, virtual battle space too. And then since then, we have, they have uh, gotten to the point to where they have stepped up beyond just translating for us. They started stepping in and uh, coaching and mentoring the Italian soldiers and now it's at a point to where they are actually assisting our instruction so that it frees us up more and the Italian soldiers are benefiting because there's less lost to interpretation. And the system is great because you can try a situation, redo it, review it, go back, see where you've done good or wrong and get the feedback from your instructor and learn with a direct experience on your own. So when you find yourself in a difficult situation, you can maybe remind of what you've done using, during, with, with a computer and put it to practice while you're done range. Well, we can tell that they thoroughly enjoy the training because they're not only learning soldier tasks and uh, techniques, but every time we end a particular scenario, we can hear an audible awe in the classroom where they're training that they are not ready to end with the training. They, they would rather continue training.